Original 1964 F100 pickup truck, original AM radio. Uh, we didn't do a lot of cleaning on this, and he wants to leave it kind of rustic looking to match the truck. That's good. We just kind of wiped it down, and we done a basic Aurora design conversion on it. It now has a AM FM stereo, four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It does have a pre out on it if you want to add a sub. Auxiliary in, which is automatic, and uh, restring it. That was a chore to get it restringed. String in it was busted, just about busted. It was uh, pretty well in two. But anyhow, we got it done. Uh, got it up and running. Right now, you're on FM. You have operating LED here that changes multiple colors depending on what the radio's doing, and you got stereo light. Deets. Everything you need to find a stereo channel that lights up for you. All I know is I'm lost. I don't know what I'm after. I don't know what I'm doing. Trouble and bass like you've always had. Uh, you also have a balance and fader built in the toner. If you hook up two speakers, you'll have balance built in the toner and stereo light. If you hook up one speaker, it'll all go to mono. You won't have a stereo light. Makes sense. If you uh, hook up three or more, you'll have a balance and fader built in the uh, toner control and the stereo light. And I'll show you how that works. We're going to take this. It's wide open, treble, and bass. We're going to go about center on it. We're going to go uh, clockwise twice, like a uh, 12 to 2 motion. It's going to beep, and then we're going. when it quits beeping, we're going to be in the fader mode. We can fade from front to rear. As long as we're moving that uh, toner control, it will stay in that area. It will fade. When you find what you want, just stop. It'll beep once and go back to toner. After that, you can go counterclockwise, like a 12-10 motion. It'll do the same thing, beep, and then go into the balance mode. As long as you're moving that, it will balance from right to left on all four speakers or three. When you find what you like, as long as you're moving it, you like it, stop, it'll beep once, go back to toner. Let's try it. Let's go into toner. And the fader. There's your fronts, there's your rears. Gonna balance it out, let it beep. Alright, we're gonna go into balance. One, two. There's your rights. There's your lefts. Let's balance out where we like it. Let's let it beat. Back on treble and bass. It's a quiet reading. I'd like to go to AM radio, just turn the unit off and right back on. There's 650 in Nashville. Off and right back on. Takes you right back to stereo FM. Uh, you get a two-piece uh, auxiliary end cable, one that you plug into the radio and then hide or put underneath the dash or put a hole in the dash. And uh, that way you don't have a lot of wires hanging down. And you have a male to male that comes with it. And all you do is just simply plug in your device, uh, satellite radio MP3. Uh, as soon as you turn your device on, it goes straight to it. Let's uh, let's come off of it because it all it was already on. Let's come off of it. Let's start that over again. Plug your device in. Bring your unit up. Uh, satellite radio, MP3 players, uh, your phone, anything with music on it. And all you do is just simply hit play. Automatically changes over. Good clinging sound.
And then when you get ready to come off any device, you notice a little light's gone on the green, just simply turn it off. And in 20 seconds, the radio will go back to where you had it. If you want to shorten it 20 seconds, like I did a minute ago, if you don't touch the radio, it will automatically change over in 20 seconds. But if you don't want to 20 seconds, just turn it off and right back on. It remembers where you're at because now if I turned it off and back on, it would go to AM radio. That's your 1964 Ford F100 truck, original AM radio, with a basic Aurora design conversion in it. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.